Hey, this is Richard with QPOC. I'm going to demonstrate a 9-inch uh, charging pocket here. It's got a built-in charger. Charge on the back with an anti-slip ring. With uh, some mini tablets here. I've got the Kindle Fire HDX, Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, 7-inch. And uh, this is uh, just a generic Android tablet. And then I've got the Nexus 7, which has the built-in wireless charging. If you've seen my other videos, you know that. It's from the factory. Alright, so I'm going to start by installing this on the, uh, the bed rail here. I've already got it plugged in. So I'm going to get the clamp over the corner and then just finish it by pushing down. Now the thing is uh, that back anti-slip ring really grabs. You can't move it. So if you want to move it, you have to like pull it out and then you can slide it easily. Alright, so let's get started. Um, this is the Kindle Fire. This is the uh, universal USB charging adapter. So on the Fire, it's actually offset. So I'm going to plug it in right here. And you can see it kind of moves around, so I'm just going to use a quick fix, which is fine, is a scotch tape. So I'm just going to tape it here, and tape it here. And so the idea then would be that you put your case on, and your charger's there. As long as it's not too thick of a case, the charging will go through it. I've also got a T300 to demonstrate here, make it easy. This is a triple coil free positioning system Qi charger. So if I set this down, I'm going to turn this on so you can see. So, right there. The Kindle does something unique that the other ones don't. It pops up a message saying that it's connected to a low power charger. That's because these, uh, these wireless charging coils don't produce the kind of current that a hardwire connection delivers. So it will take longer to charge. But, you know, if it's an overnight deal, if you're, you know, using the pocket and you're done for the night, it, it will charge. You can't see it, but it is charging, so. Alright, so the other one I've already got set up is the uh, Galaxy Tab 3. It's the new one, 7 inch. And you can see here, I'll demonstrate, I've already got the charger attached on the back. It likes to. So there, I'll put it on. And it actually pops up, lightning bolt, and it says charging right there. If you can see that. Now, I did some tests, and, and, it, and it does take a little bit longer. Again, it's, it's good for an overnight charging solution, like in the pocket right here. But yeah, there you go. So, yeah, you just, when you're done at night, you put it in there, and it'll charge. It doesn't give any kind of messages about slow charging or whatever. That's just Kindle. And you can disable that message, too. I just wanted you to see it. So this is a generic... Android tablet, and again, I've got it mounted up. Same thing. So let's drop it on and see. Yeah. You know, so the whole thing is you just got you get used to the positioning of it, and and it just go in. Now the Nexus Seven is cool because, like I said, it's built in um, from the factory, and I can even do it through a case. It's just a slip-on case, and uh, I tested it the Galaxy Tab. It works through the case as well. They all should. Unless it's like a super thick giant case, and then you can have a problem. Yeah, and there you are, recharging. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I just wanted you all to check out on these different tablets that there are options, even though it doesn't come from the factory. Okay, yeah, let me show you this. This case kind of works. But um, yeah, I'll just put it on here, make it easy. Turned off. I don't know if you can read that. It says charging right there, 75%. Like I said, I, I did this yesterday, and it, it was about maybe 2 or 3% for like 10 minutes. So these batteries are higher capacity versus like a phone. That's why they take a little longer. So hopefully in the future, we're going to get maybe some uh, higher current charging coils, you know, to speed things up. But for right now, like I said, overnight in the pocket is a good idea, so... Anyways, keep following me on uh, Facebook and Twitter, uh, QPOC. Thanks.